And I got a very nice letter from a young lady. She said she's taking her O-levels, and she's, she spent some time writing uh, a very good essay, asking, rec asking me, why don't we close the schools and we solve, we solve this problem? So I decided that if she wrote to me so seriously, I should write her a proper reply. And I, I explained to her why it was that actually schools can be safe places. And schools actually provide a very important service which helps the kids and helps the parents. And if you don't have them open, it doesn't mean that your problem has gone away because where do the kids go? Those who have people, to, parents who can look after them at home, well, okay, they quite quiet, sit at home, do homework, uh, no computer games. Those with no parents at home, they may run down to the video arcade or to the, or to, or to the, uh, the shops and, and roam around and uh, maybe even more at uh, risk of catching COVID than if they were in a controlled environment in school. So we're, we are watching that very carefully. I mean, we've got this PCF cluster, so mostly teachers are infected. Uh, there's one cluster in Dover Court International School, also a couple of parents. Uh, but I think we should look at schools as individual schools rather than one whole system. Just as we look at workplaces as individual workplaces rather than one whole work system. And if a workplace has a problem, we deal with that and uh, we, we con confine and we uh, rub out that cluster. But it doesn't mean that I must shut the whole system down. 